what happens when you stop taking fluoridated showers in today's episode on tap healing you guys are going to find out what happens when you stop taking fluoride showers and we're going to get into it right now well on a physical level that sediment that's on your skin after you take a shower like i don't know how to explain it but it's just like it's like this is some substance that's on your skin like i don't know i can't say it's sticky but it's like just some substance that's on your skin like that's not there anymore you don't get that feeling on your skin nah like you don't got to wipe any of that off your skin anymore after you take a shower but you gotta understand that those sediments that you feel on your skin like these are just just toxins and, and like heavy metals that are just on the outside but like if you were taking a hot shower your pores were just wide open so they were just pouring in for those 20 minutes you was taking that shower so you just want to really take into consideration like at, at the bare minimum like acknowledge acknowledge the stuff that's inside of your water and you can look it up you can look up your area and really look up and know what they put inside of the water but in my area you got you got chlorine in the water you got lead in the water you got sodium fluoride that we're here to talk about today like all this all this trash in the water and then like people are taking these these long hot showers and it's just getting absorbed straight into the bloodstream because anything that's on the skin gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream it's not even when you drink it it gets digested and filtered a little now when it's in through your skin it goes directly into your bloodstream so people are taking these hot showers and these metals are just going directly into their glands as they want them to you gotta understand like the, the sodium fluoride, you had Hitler using these inside the inside these gas chambers. Now now people are just making gas chambers inside their houses and just absorbing all that. Like what what I do as an alternative is a distilled bathe. And while a Dr. Sebi doesn't approve of distilled water, what are you talking about, bro? I mean, listen to Dr. Sebi here. Which is seven is neutral. pH of seven is neutral. But God doesn't make anything neutral. God made everything electrical, alkaline. So where do you find a neutral substance? This thin water. This where you have deionized the water. Deionization has to take place to this thin water. Meaning that you are removing the minerals from the water. Mm. But what you thinking now? Something that's void of, of, of substance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Dr. Sebi is right. Distilled water isn't the best. It's it's neutral. It's, it doesn't. You feel me? But that's not a bad thing in comparison to what we're we're talking about as an alternative. Like we're talking about tap water here. We're talking about tap water. Like you guys, you guys are saying distilled water, Wally. But we're talking about tap water here. The tap water or distilled water? Where 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 does it exist? Please understand. All the trash from the tap water is removed with the distilled water. And then though it doesn't have all the minerals that like usually when it rains, you have the whole entire process. You got transpiration, then you got evaporation, then you got um, condensation, then you got precipitation, then you got, you feel me, you got the whole cycle, the whole the humidity, you feel me, that whole cycle, it goes the whole cycle. And then like when the water's coming down, that right there, when the water's coming down, that is distilled water. That's neutral water. But as when it hits the bodies of land, the, the bodies of waters that, 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 that is essentially like land that has all these rocks under there, all these minerals, the sediments, that's what gets absorbed into the water, into the spring waters. And that's what's like really good for us. But like when water comes down and it's just neutral like that, neutral water is still better than fluoridated water, than chlorine and lead water. So it's like if we're going we're gonna to talk about... Um, what Dr. Sebi is actually speaking on here, he's speaking on ideal situations and like those ideal situations will be created. We, we will create our pockets of society that you feel me. We're going to have our, 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 our spring water showers. We're going to have our, our underground homes or we're going to have our, 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 our organic, you feel me with, with the, with the minerals, like she legit in the farm. Like, yo, we're going to have everything busting, going crazy trust and believe we we work in to make these pockets of society but until then we want to at least consume the water in our skin that isn't bringing those heavy metals and toxins into it so at the bare minimum guys if if you're not going to like remove the fluoride from your consumption uh, you should at least like decrease the amount of time that you take these showers yeah, at least decrease the amount of time but um what happens when you stop taking fluoridated showers 
Um, the first part was like, yeah, the physical stickiness on, on like the mental plane. I feel as though I'm able to get real quiet in my meditations and I'm able to get there pretty quickly, like really able to quiet my mind pretty quickly. Um, something I couldn't do that. I feel like that also comes with maturity. And like, I would say that becoming vegan was a lot more drastic than me, like stop taking fluoride showers. Cause when I became vegan, I was, it's like, I went through like an exorcism and then like, I was just, I was just like shedding so much. Like literally everything was like weak and nimble for a little bit before it got like, you feel me? <laughs> but literally you have to go through that metamorphosis and that's where veganism, but I feel like when you stop taking fluoride showers, the metamorphosis isn't as like, it's not as like ground shaking as it is when you go vegan. Like you feel, you fundamentally feel different when you go vegan. But like when you, when you stop taking fluoride showers or like you, you just, you just stop, you, you don't feel that I don't know. It's like a it's like a fuzziness to a certain degree, but like other than me being able to get real quiet in my meditations now, um, my dreams are just insane. Like they're very consistent and they're very vivid. I'm very there, and like they're just they're just I'm, I write down my dreams every night because like I want to be able to you feel me traverse that realm with no problems. So. I've been practicing writing down my dreams and just getting used to acknowledging the two so I'm able to utilize both. So it's not like I'm not I'm not truly experiencing or I'm or I'm just experiencing without without taking into consideration what it is that's going on and and why am I being brought to this environment and things like that. So yeah, please start writing down your dreams. That's a really important thing. But yeah, like last night I, I felt like I was like time traveling I, I did I was, was going into portals and stuff like that but I feel as though my dreams are only getting more and more vivid because I'm eliminating the things that aren't that 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 weren't allowing my glands to thrive and prosper because your glands are like people will say that your glands are like the homes of your chakras and like when you don't have things clogging your glands and clogging their function you're able to like flow better so I mean I'm flowing. I'm, I'm, you feel me? I'm, 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 I'm putting in work on the day today. You feel me? Is, 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 is winter time is cold, but it's summertime inside here all the time. You feel me? But that's it for today, guys. I absolutely love you guys. And yeah, at the bare minimum, you don't even have to stop taking fluoride showers. Just don't take as long fluoride showers. You feel me? But if you want to experience what it feels like to not take fluoride showers, yo, Join, join the squad, you feel me? And if you already started, hey, yo, I don't know if there's a lot of us, but talk, talk to me in the description below. Tell me how you feeling. And that's it for today, guys. I absolutely love you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay well. <laughs>